Sir, there have been reports of opera music being played on the boundary of Chinatown. There was similar music being aired at the previous crime scene. It would appear this is some kind of calling card. Alfred, we can add a third victim to the list. This is becoming rather ghastly, sir. It brings to mind a spate of murders at the beginning of your career. It was Halloween then, if I'm not mistaken. Turned out to be rather a long one, if I recall. I'm going to try and identify the body. Scar tissue on the upper arm. I recognize the pattern. Twenty years ago, this was a badge of honor among inmates at Blackgate Penitentiary. A small group of racketeers known as the Bloodhaven Six. Remnants of a pacemaker fitted through the right ventricle. If I cross-reference the manufacturer with the pacing method, it will help to narrow the search. Clear signs of bone deformation on the victim's knee. Joint line sclerosis points to juvenile arthritis, a rare and debilitating condition. Alfred. I've ID'd the victim as Franklin Ocardo. His records are a litany of drug-related offenses, sir. In and out of prison from an early age. He was serving a 20-year sentence at Blackgate before being released early on grounds of ill health due to a heart condition. He moved to Little Rock, Arkansas, which is where he was reported missing. That's three victims, all of them abducted in various places around the country. Keep looking for a connection, Alfred. Right you are, sir. The writing by the bodies suggests the killer has a higher purpose. It's as if these weren't good enough for what he has in mind. Do you think there are other victims? Yes, and I don't know what he has planned for them. <laughs> 